G'day folks, Mark from Gunplay Network here. Today I'm bringing you my review of this amazing, this epic, this indescribable real grade, the Sword Impulse. Now, I brought this from Side 7 Exports. If you want one of your own, well, you might be out of luck. But check his site anyway, shoot Gus a message. He's my go-to guy for P Bandai and limited needs. So I bought this one myself, all right? Taking a little fly-in look here, uh, I get just hear this launch music from Seed Destiny whenever I see it in this kind of pose. Obviously, probably not the way most of us are going to display the Force Impulse, but cool nonetheless that it can actually pull off the flying and docking poses. First up, you've got the inner frame. Now, being a late model 2020 real grade, this is basically a mini master grade. Frame looks great. It's not pre-molded really at all. Um, don't have that B-runner anymore. And it was a unique building experience. I wish I was painting this one, but maybe a force impulse later on. This is just gonna be gloss coated water slides and in the cupboard. Here it is armored up with the core splendor inside. Such a great design from Seed. It just has like a sleek nature to it. And this red is really setting it off. Now onto the accessories and you get a lot with this kit. Here is the Shin Oscar figure. And I look forward to painting this later. I think I've got about 10 figures standing in line, so I might have to mix up a batch of primer and do it soon. It's pretty detailed, uh, hard to pick up on camera at this scale, but I mean, it's got the coat, it's got, you know, you can see his hair spikes, everything. It's it's pretty detailed for 1144, so Bandai's definitely on point with this one. Now, this is the MMI-710 Excalibur Anti-Ship Laser Sword. Now, this is stored in inactive mode, and these are awesome huge but solid and i love the detail the only thing on mine i've done is uh, for this review i have put in a little extra effort and i've gloss coated and panel washed everything no water slides yet i'm still waiting on those to arrive here it is with the effect part clipped in now i think this runner is from 2012 when i was looking over it when i was building so bandai have taken the original hg kit i'm guessing from nearly a decade ago and recycled it but you know what the effect parts stand up the, sh the sword is solid enough and that just clips in there really well. So here's the YFX-M56S Core Splendor and Silhouette Flyer, which is really awesome for them to include both of these things in such a detailed, uh, you can see like almost rivet panel line marks on the Silhouette Flyer there. The Core Splendor, if you look at mine versus what you get out of the box, uh, but I've actually painted the yellow tips and I kind of shoved some red on the you know, in the vents in the front there, that was a bit of a fail with my Tamiya enamel. Pretty sure I sprayed it and masked up, but oh well. Look, it, it's pretty good. Um, for the scale, it's got the missiles, which will never be used except once in the series. Here is the MA-BAR-72 high energy beam rifle, which is the same one as the Force Impulse, just a different color tab on the side there, I believe it is. This is epically detailed. Couldn't be happier with it. I bought this kit because I wanted the swords, but you know, I'm happy to have this rifle and it sits firmly on the back flap. So all good there. Here is the MMI-RG59V mobile shield in a closed position, which is how it'll be displayed on the sword impulse. You want it taking up as little room as possible. Pretty detailed back and front. Like I said, I've just given it a quick panel wash, black on the gray and gray on the white parts. And I think I might've on the year red, I might've used the brown panel wash from Tamiya. Very smooth uh, this build was and all the parts in it help you open up into this position. So here it is when it docks with the uh, the bar um, beam rifle and it opens up and you get that kind of energy shield, I think from within that as well. So it's got a hand grip and my uh, blue tack holding it to the peg there is actually the peg underneath. And it clips really firmly in the arm guys. This shield is excellent. Talking about hands, uh, you get your two open expressive, you get your two holding with the um, pegs inside them, you get a uh, rifle trigger finger hand, you get a left hand or a right hand, one of the extra ones that's open but with no pegs so you can hold the other side when you've docked the two swords together to create the dual wielding sword. Um, yeah, and then you get the two close hands which are really awesome. So now you've got the effect parts and these are really cool. You get two for the Excalibur swords and two long and two short for the uh, flash edge beam boomerang on the silhouette pack, which look really good. 
Here are the M71-AAK Folding Razor Anti-Armor Knives. These are basically like the Strikes knives from what I can see and understand about it. Stored up in the skirt as well. Uh, I painted the silver tips on mine with the Tamiya enamel, uh, just because I could and I like to. I'll never use them, you'll never see them past this review, but I like knowing that they're stored there looking metal and dangerous as hell. All right, lastly onto the RQM60 Flash Edge Beam Boomerang. I've taken all these names from the wiki guys, so. Uh, on a sword silhouette pack, I love the black and red combo, it looks great. The beam boomerang breaks down into pieces, so, and it can like swing forward and move about. It's very articulated. Uh, and you can get all sorts of poses like reaching and grabbing and throwing, all sorts of things. Okie dokie. For some size comparisons, high grade Bill Fighters uh, Burning Gundam, which obviously shares some heritage you can see there. Not just the colors, but the actual design. Here's the real grade Blue Frame Astray. So you can see they're from the same series, RGs, although the Astray looks a little anemic in comparison. And because the A Master Grade I had handy was the, uh, the Jagan was in its box ready for review. The Jester Cannon, which is huge in comparison to this kit. Uh, yeah, just the opposite, like bulk as. Here it is, uh, standing up now, grabbing those for those knives. So with all the different hand combos and weapons and articulation on this kit, I just, and I won't go into the articulation because Cody already covered it uh, in the Force Impulse review. We'll stick a uh, link in the description or up here on the screen for you to check it out. So articulated, uh, so fun to pose and solid. Just not uh, not a you know problem at all with this real grade. It is fantastic. It's edging, it's top five for sure. Here it is. So, you know, you can imagine from the anime where it's just docked up, got the shield, rifle, silhouette packs docked onto it and it's flying off. It's pretty solid on that stand. I didn't want this review to end, guys. I could have gone for an hour, two hours, talking about how good this kit. Here it is with the beam boomerang. It's grabbing for one, as you can see, and the silhouette pack helps that. Like I said, the beam uh, boomerangs, you can turn, twist, fold, so it's reaching for it. Uh, it's just, it's so, so good. I, I don't know like how to describe how articulated and good this kit is. Here it is, holding the Excalibur swords. As you can see there, you can combine these or you can have them holding them separately. And this thing is spinning on an action base and I left it here for 10 minutes. It did not fall over, lose balance once. That is a rarity for these kits, like real grades, even some of the more solid ones with a heavy pack on the back or heavy weapons. It didn't sag or anything. It is fantastic, the joints, how tight they are on this and it can hold them. That's it guys, not sure how else to say this, but get yourself an impulse real grade. Force impulse, sword impulse, and the inevitable blast impulse, no doubt, coming. It's just too good, top tier. So check out Side 7 Exports, check out Cody's review of the Force Impulse, and remember, keep building.